Thanks, Gary. New here at five. It has been seven months since yet another flood filled Coach's Bar and Grill with fast rising water. Do you remember this? Well, at the time, the co-owners decided to close because the damage was just too great. But now we're learning that it may not be the end of the popular bar and grill. And our Amy Anderson is live to explain. Amy. Well, Ellen, a lot of people have been wondering if and when coaches would reopen after it flooded over the summer. But what do you think of this for a location? The old All Saints Episcopal Church off Warnell has won the heart of the Darby family. It was a sad and scary day when the old coaches flooded for the last time at 103rd and Warnell. Brian Darby and his partner were rescued from the roof. Since then, we've been looking at places. A uh, couple of things fell through. And then we looked at this church as a favor for somebody, and uh, we both fell in love with it. It's easy to see why. A beautiful old church that's been empty now for years. The building left an impression with Darby, a reason to focus on something positive after such a rough year last year. But the more we get into it, we really like it. We'd like this to be our home for the next 35 years. Not everyone is as excited. People living in nearby neighborhoods say they're not thrilled about it being rezoned as a commercial property and worried there could be potential problems. More sympathetic to the Darby family, I cannot be. They need to find a new location. But Thomas Chalfont isn't so sure this old church is the answer. The noise and traffic, that's a very busy road. It's a very dangerous part of Warnell Road to have that much traffic coming and going. Darby says with this location, there will be no 3 a.m. closing time. He wants it to be more of a family atmosphere, and he wants neighbors to be a part of it. There are hurdles, and uh, one of the things is we just need to get the neighborhood behind us. I don't want to beat them. I want them to come on our side and, and join us. We want to be an asset to them. Now, neighbors will have a chance to ask any questions they may have tonight at a community meeting that gets underway tonight at 7. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV5.